Hello everyone, this is Kat, and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how to use AI soldiers. And first, to really talk about it, I'm going to have to talk a little bit about some properties of the AI. So, of course the AI uh, have some level of self preservation that they do want to take cover, they don't want to die, and everything. So, sometimes they will make moves on their own that you don't necessarily want them to do. Now there's a few options that you can use to keep them from doing that. The first is through engineers. Of course, you can like go into a building, block off the exit ways and keep them from exiting. Or through attics. And I have one attic on this map specifically that I can show you guys. So if I climb over here and head to the big building on this side. There's actually already a squad over there. I can show you guys what it's like to find an attic. Because the interesting thing about AI is they don't know how to climb ladders or go through hatches. Um, that means that once they're in, they cannot get out. And generally to find yourself one of those, you generally want to look for a building that has these windows on the roof. So that, that's generally like a three-story building. And those are the ones that have, in fact, hatches that lead to a attic. And you can see right here, you can climb up. And now if I swap uh, soldiers, I can just keep them climbing up. And even if I move this position back to a different location, like right here, they will not climb back down. So that is an easy way to keep them where you want them to be. Like, they can only come out when you want them to. And this tactic is generally the uh, stash tactic. That's how I call it myself. Where you stash your soldiers in a safe spot and you go in there solo. Because you don't feel like, you know, sacrificing your soldiers and having them get killed. However, uh, AI actually do get a little bit smarter the higher their rank is. So if you have a veteran squad like I do with 5 star soldiers, you might want to consider actually using them in combat. Uh, of course, they will have a lower kill death ratio than you, yourself. However, they can give you a small edge in combat that you would otherwise not have if you were going solo. Um, yeah. So, to do that, we're going to go hop over towards this capture point. And see if we can get some combat. Again, this is live footage, so I cannot really speed this up for you guys. Because it's also live commentary, again, I am not um, cherry-picking my scenarios or anything. I'm trying to make my guides as open as possible. So there are some soldiers over there that I um, can see coming in. And some tip against AI as well here is to move left and right. Because they do lead their targets. They account for bullet velocity. So that means that if you wiggle left and right you are less likely to get hit by them. And it seems that higher level AI is sometimes just a little bit more efficient with uh, noticing that and shooting you anyways than low level AI. As far as I myself notice, this is not something officially coming from the dev, so there's no official information regarding that. So, one of the biggest advantages of the AI is that if you get shot down like that, you can immediately swap. And if you if you can leave them to reload, you don't have to reload your guns yourself. You can immediately swap and continue firing. Because they just want to actually empty half his magazine. 14 rounds. So they do in fact uh, use the automatic weapons to an extent. And with that we have downed one of the enemies and these soldiers are in fact capable of shooting these once they are downed and to actually kill them that way. The um, lower rank soldiers are not capable of that. They will not shoot at low level soldiers and they will simply just look at them and have them basically, you know, dot, like just get up again. You can see here, uh, the uh, AI squads that are fully AI are in fact uh, higher level soldiers. So they will actually shoot you. But a new player 
with new squads will not. So because of that, uh, for low level players I highly advise going for the Stash tactic and for the higher level soldiers I uh, more likely advise um, to use this kind of marching fire tactic where you kind of control where they're going with the position marker. Here you can see it of course, uh, minus bound to X. So you kind of want them to lead them a little bit around. You want to keep them close, so you keep the marker pretty close to you at all times. But you can just control where exactly they are just a little bit more, because they don't are not walking straight behind you. And that's, if anything is just to take out of it, that's kind of what you want to do. They don't really have any other options. They do have the need more ammo option. But that option can only be used if you're on your last magazine of ammunition or entirely out of ammunition. So that one will be grayed out. Same for heal me. You cannot use it when you are uh, at full health. You can only use it when you are low in health. So here I'm going to uh, move my soldiers back to the rear. And I am going to... Counter these guys pushing me, but I went down, so I can immediately swap to the next soldier. And this is kind of what you want to do if you have a high level squad. You can really be aggressive in a way that the other squads cannot. So you can also uh, actually tell your squad to heal you while in combat. So you can heal while keeping your gun up. Oh, I'm going to first have to deal with these guys real quick. Also, another thing to know with AI is that sometimes they favor your secondaries for some odd reason. So if you are actually carrying like a um, like a bolt action rifle in your secondary slot and your bolt like your uh, your SMG in your primary slot, they will actually fa favor the bolt action rifle. And I could tell you that with the higher level AI, they actually come quite a get quite efficient with the bolt action rifles. So if you can, just equip a secondary with the bolt action rifle if the first weapon is, for example, the semi-automatic or an SMG. Because they fire single rounds on target at a time. So, giving them the gun that deals the highest amount of damage among the guns that you have available, aka the bolt action rifles, will mean that you will be doing more damage overall with your AI soldiers. And that's probably the biggest downside to the veteran squad right now is that they cannot equip said secondary bolt action rifle making them unable to use that tactic and that's really all i got or ai they are not too complex there's not too many tactics i can use uh one thing actually more to add is that with buildings so actually this is my engineer and i actually threw away my hammer but if i was building something and i would hold the left mouse buttons over the hammer to hit um and then swap soldiers the ai will finish the building i cannot actually show that because again uh, i gave away my um my hammer for and for an smg but I will assume that doesn't really need any visualization. You just have to make sure that you uh, hold the left mouse button when you swap soldiers. Because if you do so, then you will be able to um, use the, like, have it keep building. It will not work if you let go of the button and then swap, because then the AI doesn't know what you're building, basically. And yeah, my aim is trash. Oh. Well, it's fashioned away. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For the most part. So you can call it a tutorial. And I will see you guys all in the next one. See ya.